the necessities of life, part one. Would it surprise you to learn that you have the same basic needs as a tree, a frog, and a fly? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. Living things need air. Air is a mixture of several different gases. This includes oxygen and carbon dioxide, among others. Most living things use oxygen in the chemical processes that release energy from food. Organisms living on land get oxygen from breathing the air in our atmosphere. Organisms living in water either take dissolved oxygen from the water or come to the water surface to get oxygen from the air. Green plants and algae and some bacteria need carbon dioxide in addition to oxygen. These organisms produce food and oxygen by using photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, green organisms convert the energy in sunlight to energy that is stored in food. All living things need food. Food gives organisms energy and the raw materials needed to carry on their life processes. Organisms use the nutrients from food to replace cells and build body parts. But not all organisms get food in the same way. In fact, organisms can be grouped into three different groups based on how they get their food. Some organisms make their food. These are called producers or autotrophs. Like most producers, plants use energy from sunlight to make food in the form of sugar from water and carbon dioxide. Some producers get energy from and food from chemicals in their environment. Other organisms called consumers eat or consume other organisms to get food. It gets the energy or they get the energy they need by eating insects and other organisms. Some consumers are decomposers. Decomposers are organisms that get their food by breaking down nutrients in dead organisms or animal waste. It is important to realize that all consumers are considered heterotrophs. Living things also need water. You may know already that your body is made mostly of water. In fact, your cells and the cells of almost all living organisms are approximately 70% water. Most of the chemical reactions involved in our metabolism require water. Organisms differ greatly in terms of how much water they need and how they get it. You could survive only about three days without water. You get water from fluids that you drink and food that you eat. Some animals get water just by licking the dew off the ground in the morning. All organisms need a place to live that contain all of the things they need to survive. Some organisms, such as elephants, require a large amount of space. Other organisms may live their entire life in one space. Some organisms make their homes in trees. Others make their homes in forests, while others make their homes underground. Space on Earth is limited, so organisms often have to compete for food, water, and other necessities. Humans are no exception to these requirements of life. We need food, we need water, we need air, and we need shelter. All of these things help us to survive. Thanks for watching.